What is going on guys? It's Tony from Lomo Paintball. Today we are doing a shooting and overview of the brand new 15 inch HK Army XV barrel. XV. XV, you don't hear it very often. This is a one piece barrel by HK Army, all dust finishes, 15 inch, three bore sizes, three different markers this barrel will go on. Starting down here, Mark, you've got your dust black, you've got dust silver, your dust gold, dust purple, dust pewter, dust red, dust neon green, and in my hands, the beautiful dust blue. So like I said, I mean, you can get up the, the actual like milling on these things. It's pretty. The porting, the way they got the HK Army up near where the second piece of the barrel would screw in, but just kidding, it's a one piece. HK Army there. You can see the porting is bigger in the back. And as it goes towards the front of the gun, they get smaller portholes as well. So I think they did a really good job on this barrel and it only retails at $45. So you've got uh, three different guns that it fits on. The Tipman A5, an auto cocker threaded gun, which most of your high end guns are auto cocker thread, and then the spider. So, three different uh, guns, and then what you have is bore sizes 681, 685, and 689. Pretty much the most popular bore sizes that fit uh, current paint on the market today. So, any paint you're buying is probably going to fit within the 681 to the 685 range on these bad boys. Um, so what I have here is a 681 today. I'm gonna throw it on this beautiful CS2 over here. And uh, we're gonna let this rip and see how these one piece 15 inch barrels actually work. Like I said, 81, that's what I'm gonna screw onto this gun. They offer 85 and 89 as well. Mark, uh, before we do that, what are your, what do you, what do you think's gonna happen here? You think it's gonna shoot well? What? I'm sure it'll shoot well. HK is known for good quality. Before you take that barrel off, Yeah. Can you run, just give me like five shots with the stock barrel, just so we can hear a sound difference. Sure. It may right. not convey across the audio, Yeah. but for us, we'll hear, and I want to know what That's it fine. sounds like. Thank you. Okay. All right. Sounded like a lawnmower. That's cool. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Lawnmower's in the background. Yeah. Let All me right. turn this bad boy off and screw the barrel on then. Yeah. Okay. But now we physically have a baseline on what the sound is. Correct. And also just, you are aware this other barrel that we're using is also a 681 too. So okay. that was a 681, uh, shot very straight, very accurate. Let's see, uh, let's see what we got now. XV barrel going on. So I'm going to have you do the five shots again before I move behind you. Okay. Just so I hear from the same spot too with that sweet, sweet lawn cutting sound. Yep, of course we knew we were gonna run into that. It's nice. That's just, it's not that loud. Okay. There's not a lot of difference. No, it's really not. They're both quiet, man. This, yeah. uh, and it looks pretty on that gun too. It does, nice. that looks really sharp. But now, the real test, what's the accuracy? We will see. 15 inch, 681, auto cocker thread on the gun. Wait, so let me clear this up. Have you been drinking this morning? No. So that's not an excuse that you can use if... Uh, but I didn't bore the paint out, uh, but I figured it would be, you know... Pretty small, yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's let it rip. Nice. For a $45 barrel, um, yeah, it's great. Really, it's that's nice, that's nice. I mean, and what would you say, Mark, we're good, how many feet away do you think from that target? Uh, 10, 40 to 50. 40 to 50, yeah. okay. So a lot of the shots were definitely right on that little circle and in or right around there. Um, I didn't break one single paintball. I don't have any paint left in the hopper. Should I put more paint through this or what? It's up to you. Uh, why not? Okay, let Just me- throw a little bit more in. Okay, that's fine. Whatever is quick and easy. That's fine, we'll do that. I am seriously impressed on 
like I said, the, the sound. The, I mean, for 45 bucks, yeah, the sound, okay. everything like that. I mean, where we go? Oh, hopper. Oh, I would, uh, yeah, I mean, I would highly suggest it. Um, even at an 8.1 or an 8.5 or even the 8.9, those are very popular sizes. Shoot, I'd probably buy them all. I mean, for that price. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> we might even have them available on the website as a kit. I yeah, so sure. yeah, hit up the website, guys. Uh, we just wanted to kind of show you the new colors that they have. Um, oh, we had one hiding back here. Just kidding, that's not that. That's, yeah, that's the it's stock. stock it, it, it looked so much yeah. similar to that. So, uh, yeah, it's where we're at. What do you think, Mark? I think they're awesome. I'm yeah. wondering if I should get a set for my Emac. Hmm. I, I would probably say so. I'm just, it's funny to me how the sound signature of this barrel was very, very similar to, to that barrel. So, yeah, um, yeah, there was no obvious difference. Like, wow, that one's way louder or way no, quieter. It was not at all. The, I think the HK had a slight ting to it and that just might have been an echo i was hearing somewhere else okay but other than that I, yeah i heard almost no discernible it shot difference. absolutely phenomenal check them out guys didn't break one single paintball hk army xv barrels uh available for grabs 45 bucks guys hit up the website lomopaintball.com put in the comments below if you guys have if you guys have purchased these you guys like them what you guys think of them thank you for watching i know mark a, has a question we got a question from the youtube i already knew i was waiting you for knew it. it i knew Andrew Macedo uh, on the HK Army Hostel thermal goggle reviews, those no uh, baseline yeah, goggles they yeah, have. Yeah. He wants to know, uh, if I just want the smoke lens, do I buy the single pane and then buy the smoke lens separate? Or do you think it's better to have both the clear and smoke in thermal? I would probably do the clear and smoked in thermal. That way it's anti-fog for you. And uh, also, if it's a sunny day, you can throw in your smoke lens. If it's kind of cloudy and dreary, keep the clear lens so you can see a lot better. It's always great to have multiple options for your lenses, guys. There you go. You got a question, leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Beep, beep, beep.